<laughs> you think there's much difference between touring in Europe and last year you were in the uh, United States? I yeah, think yeah, yeah, really a lot of difference. They don't speak English. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 the audience is different, or? Yeah, sure, of course they are. I mean, in each in Europe, there tends to be really a lot of difference between each country and even each town, you know, in each country, which there is in America. But now I can't see the interview. Uh, e. E. Uh, no, I'm the E, the and he's the E. Uh. Um, uh, um, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of difference. I mean, really, people are very different in Europe, you know. I mean, considering uh, the short distances, you know, you get into a language, completely different language. I don't have to tell you all that. All those obvious things of borders, frontiers, languages. But, I mean... Uh, it's still playing in a hall, you know, to people. It's still basically the same. You're still up on a stage Americans playing to a live play. audience, you know? It's different, though. It is ob really different, because it's much easier to Mind communicate with an American audience, obviously. I mean, like with the Dutch audience, they really mostly speak very good English, where it's like, say, in Germany, I mean, I, I can't say anything very much to the audience because I don't speak German. So the communication is limited to music and gestures. It should be enough, really. How do you feel towards the audience? I mean, uh, I remember a film when uh, the, the camera was put on stage and you could see the audience, the way uh, the stones see the audience. And these people look, uh, I don't know, the, the people look uh, a bit... Uh, Seedy? Um, I don't know. I don't know. A Come bit on. frightening, a bit... Frightening. Uh, you should see you from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> Do they? No, they don't. They don't get you. You know. How, you know. how do you feel towards the audience when you see the people? Oh, I love them, don't I? If they come to see us, it's great, you know. I mean, sometimes they look happy. When they look really miserable, uh, I sometimes get a bit. Sometimes they faint. Yes, they fainted a lot yesterday, which was very disappointing. We didn't like that. Um, but we asked them not to stand up, but they actually. Um, they don't scare us, no, you know. As as a audience, as a whole thing, individually, you could be scared by people, I suppose. They come there to enjoy it for the same reasons as we do, you know. So there's not a question of um, being um, frightened of an audience. Vic, what are your feelings when you're uh, doing a concert in front of uh, 30,000 people? What, what, I couldn't what describe it in sh brief space given to us. You get a lot of adrenaline bounce, you know. And it's very difficult to describe. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been on stage, but people that are like, you know, uh, like going on telly for the first time, you know, or something. It's a bit like that. Have the audiences uh, changed? I mean, you've been playing in front of big audience for now about 10 years. Do the crowds react the same way now as they did 10 years ago? Or no, are the no, audiences they different? Used scream. They used to scream. That uh -huh. used to be the thing. Um, well, when we first started, they used to just sort of clap we and dance. We used to be like the Osmonds, you know? Ah, I understand. Then we got into the screen period, uh, which was in a way very enjoyable, but it got rather boring because you couldn't play. So then we gave up the stage for two years. And you, you, you went back to stage. The Beatles didn't come back on yeah, stage. Yeah, we went That's back because we thought, it, and when we came back, you, it was a different uh, thing, you know, where it was slightly easier to play because it wasn't the screaming. But the audiences are generally very good and you know, appreciative. How comes the audiences have changed? They got older. Oh, younger. Something. Something. I don't. It's very it. difficult for for us. I don't know. I mean, I don't always agree with Keith. But a lot of them are. A lot of them are older. In well, some audience, places. Obviously older than they were ten years ago. And they're all little girls that big. You know, that's the difference. Not all. Not in all of the places, though. Not yet. So not. Generally. Yeah. What do you think of? Acts who are supposed to appeal to younger people like Slade or T Rex and sort of well, another well, none question. I mean, do well, you, do we like them as a band? You know? Yeah, I mean that. I don't personally like what they're I don't doing. like Slade or T Rex very much. You know, there's yeah, other bands I do, do like. I don't mind Slade. I like. I mean, I don't mind some of their records are good. I mean, there's a band that's been around a long time. And there's not a bad band. Okay, thank you very much. That's all. Okay. Thank you, gents.